more than 50,000 expected at two protests on Sunday the Labour and Conservative MPs have condemned the effigies Michael Fabric and delegates attending the Conservative Party conference are braced for a series of protests in Manchester this week as thousands of anti-austerity and anti-Brexit demonstrators are expected to converge. But some reacted with anger after a Conservative MP shared an image of a bridge in the northern city which had a banner draped from it with the words, Hang the Tories as he arrived in Manchester. Michael Fabrican said what a charming welcome to Manchester and the Conservative Party conference. These aren't protesters, they're fascists. Labour's shadow education secretary Angela Rayner said she was disgusted by the image, which also showed an effigy hanging from the bridge in a suit. Not in my name, she said. Those that do this let Manchester down. Gareth Snell, another Labour MP, added this is totally unacceptable, and if people who did this think they speak for the Labour Party, be assured they do not. Two separate protests in the city, organized by anti-Brexit and anti-austerity activists, are expected on Sunday with some reports suggesting that as many as 50,000 could attend. And in an effort to keep the city running as usual, police have launched Operation Protector, a plan to manage security around the venue of the Conservative Conference. According to the Manchester Evening News, around 1,000 extra police will be drafted in on Sunday as part of the £2 million operation. We do expect a number of protesters to come into the city centre throughout the conference, with two particularly large protests taking place on Sunday, said Chief Superintendent John O'Hare, who is leading the operation in Manchester. He added our policing style throughout the conference period will strive to achieve the right balance between facilitating protest and enabling people to go about their daily business without fear or intimidation. Everyone has the right to peacefully protest, but anyone behaving in a manner that goes beyond the spirit of this will be dealt with appropriately. The last time the party held the conference in Manchester, in 2015, a number of arrests were made, and at least one delegate was egged by an activist, while several were allegedly spat at. But in a letter to Conservative members, Mr O'Hare added that as a result of feedback two years ago, we have implemented a number of changes. This includes a larger, secure reception area for delegates to congregate in prior to entering the secure site. Sir Vince Cable, the Liberal Democrat leader, is expected to attend the pro-rally in the city centre on Sunday, and the People's Assembly Against Austerity will be providing accommodation and transport for activists wishing to attend. Writing for The Independent on Friday, Sir Vince said the issue of Brexit is too big not to get involved with demonstrators pushing for the government to take a different approach. I believe it would be a healthy exercise in democracy to participate in a peaceful, dignified protest on the big issue of the day by marching, Sir Vince said. And the issues don't come any bigger than Brexit, which is why I will be addressing marchers protesting at the Conservative Conference in Manchester this weekend. More about Manchester Conservatives reuse content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more.